Hello, Taurus. So in general, for those of you who are dealing with an earth sign, or this could also be like an energy that is external to you, that is also, um, or it could be like, a, this is could also be you. So financially, I would say things are very stable right now. You might have like a lot of investment opportunities and you're trying to expand your finance base and you might go ahead with it. So that's the only danger that is um, coming in right now. So be very careful about um, whatever it is that you're trying to manifest because it is best to wait until that Mercury retrograde period, okay? I strongly advise it because um, anything you do might have like unfavorable outcome or unintended outcomes, okay? And people are just not operating at their best. So when it comes to finances, I do feel in the upright position, you're going to be okay. But when it comes to finances in general, kind of um, hold on tight to what you have and wait for a better time, a better day to invest, okay? So keep that in check as well. Um, yeah, so again, investment opportunities, there are going to be blockages here. This is a very um, karmic block, and it's basically, you know, this is a very spiritual card, but it's also that green light type of energy, and um, it's the universe is saying, no, no, not right now, okay? And it is going to be in effect for at least until Mercury is out of its retrograde period, until the 11th. You're actually luckier than the other signs. They have it coming in towards the end. So that means, you know, this month is, um, is a no-go, basically. So there is a very strong cosmic karmic block here. So don't make any new investments. Don't, um, I would say, like, don't start new things, okay, in general. If you can help it, absolutely, like, don't st uh, start new things. If um, things have been, like, started in the past and then you're taking this time to... I guess going over it and then rehashing it, then that's fine. But if it's a brand new project, you don't want to, um, you, you don't want like Murphy's Law, you know. So try not to do, to start anything new during this time and especially until the 11th of June, okay? Yeah, so I do feel that for those of you who are going ahead with this before June 11th, then what's going to come in is that, um, you know, the project is stalled and then you have to redo it all over again. So we're getting like two cards with the same energy, okay? Moving on to from a prior situation, something that you were emotionally invested in, okay? Something you had very high hopes and aspirations for. And then this is like carrying that, um, the I guess like the, the disappointment of that aftermath with you. In this situation, you're walking away and you're making a clean break, okay? You're not carrying that mental anguish. So if it's a project and you're doing it for some reason, you know, before the 11th, you're probably going to have to go back to it and redo it again. So it is going to be problematic. Um, again, with the moon card here in the reverse position, um, anytime I see like a planetary, you know, type of um, card, such as the moon, the sun, it could also be the star, um, it usually indicates that timing is going to be everything, okay? So um, this is actually a good card to get in the reverse position because now it's telling me that um, this is the card of illusion. So these illusions are quickly cleared up towards, you know, the second half of this month and you are seeing a clearer picture. You have clarity. You have, like, concrete fact, whereas, you know, in the upright position, it indicates something that might be transient, that might be like illusory, so it, it's hard to pin down. In the reverse, it indicates to me that these choices, the false choices in the Seven of Cups are gradually being phased out one by one so that the true thing remains, okay? And because of it, you're able to let those go and to move forward with one ideal situation. So either way, it looks very, very good for you guys. And um, again, we have the Two of Pentacles. So for those of you who have been diligent about, you know, not making any uh, premature investments, you're actually going to be in a good place. So I do feel in general, this is more of a, um, so finances, be very careful with the spending, okay? So if you haven't been diligent about, you know, making, um, not making new investments or, you know, holding tight to your money and things like that, it can be prob problematic coming in 
the end of this month, mainly because you might be short on things, you might be prone to overspending, and then you find out that um, you know the investments are not quick enough in generating more money for you. So that's another thing to look out for, okay, Taurus. Um, in general, though, you know, just um, be careful about spending. I do feel that it is going to be problematic for this month. Um, especially buying like very very expensive expensive you know um, luxury items because most likely first of all you don't need them and secondly um, during a mercury and retrograde cycle you're not going to see the true value of something until you leave the store until it's too late to return them okay so that is one thing I would say for uh, those who are thinking about like extravagant spending or buying luxury goods okay and then we have this card coming in at the very end. So um, it's a situation in which you can no longer go back to. Okay, so a lot of you have tried to like, you know, you've moved on and then somehow you're probably pulled back to that prior work situation, romance um, or interpersonal relationship. There's like disputes, there's fighting between the two of you. And then you leave it all behind and now you're, you're feeling like you're in a better place. And then once and for all, towards the end of this month, you're going to be in a place where you understand that it was just not meant to be, that no matter how many times you go back and work it out, it's just not going to work out, okay? Because it's not something that's meant to be. It's not for your greater good. And the emperor is here to remind you that the universe has something else in plan for you, okay? So whatever this thing is, is causing you a lot of mental anguish. It's causing you a lot of emotional pain. So it's just not meant for you. And those are, you know, definite indicators that you need to move on. And no matter how many times you go back and rework a situation, if it's not meant to be, it's just not going to work out, okay? And you are basically groomed for something else. Something I feel that is, is not going to come into the picture yet because I don't see new energy here. I do feel like, you know, sailing away, but you're still like trying to shuffle through. So um, Mercury in retrograde also is notorious for bringing back people, situations from the past so that we can rehash and we can like get closure. So if that's something that you need, maybe, you know, it, that needs to happen in order for you to heal completely and in order for you to leave that situation once and for all behind, okay? For those of you who are dealing with like fellow earth signs, I would say like in general, um, there are communication um, issues this month of uh, you or the other person. I feel like there's a very huge difference in your philosophical value system and especially when it comes to spending, okay? So finances are figuring pretty prominently in this spread and I would say like you or somebody you're romantically linked with might be like um you might be very extravagant the other person might be quite thrifty or vice versa so there are you know huge discrepancy and like um money is a, a major issue in a lot of divorce trials so that's something that um no matter how much you try to compromise you know you have different spending styles and you have different lifestyles too you require different things from one another so sometimes things just don't work because of it there might be also in relationships for you guys this month if for those of you who are even in stable relationships or who are um, even dating I do feel like some sense of a imbalance inequality when it comes to the give and take in this situation okay it could also be that um, both parties are not willing to part with their resources or their time or they're not as devoted so um, both parties might be hesitant about investing first because they want to know how much the other party is willing to give before they show their cards okay so there's a, a very stalled energy here when you're dealing with another person and understandably so I do sense in general that um, yeah I do sense in general if that's something that you're dealing with there is going to be you know a resolution and a new beginning from this coming in so you're going to find a way to fix this problem so that it doesn't happen again in your romantic situation okay 
And um, likewise, if you're dealing with another earth sign on an interpersonal level in every capacity, yeah, there's still going to be, you know, kind of like a, a hesitancy. You're kind of like skirting around one another and uh, avoiding, you know, that, that big discussion, that elephant in the room, and you're trying to like maneuver around one another. So it could be problematic for you and for the other person as well. But like both sides, both parties are not yet willing to invest un unless they see, you know, the first step from the other party. So they're waiting for, people are waiting for one another to in make that first investment and then everything would just flood in but no one is, you know, taking that first step. So everyone is kind of like on the sideline trying to work around each other. It's, um, it can be pretty frustrating but I do feel in general, you know, things happen for a reason. So maybe reassess the relationships and the people that you're involved with um, and find out why they're like that, okay? Find out why it's not a completely true 50-50 type of relationship. And at the same time, for those of you who are dealing with like either a, a fire sign or a water sign, I'm sensing that the water sign, um, if it's like a financial investor or something like that, be careful about taking his advice, I, his or her advice. I do feel that you have a better sense, well, towards the end of this month, okay, the end of this month, you have a better sense about how and why you should invest, where you should invest your money. So trust your instincts on that, and I feel that taking your own advice would be the best option here. For those of you who are dealing with, like, a fire sign, this person has your best intentions at heart, but I do sense in general that um, he or she is kind of like... Um, they're, so they're good people and they have a good heart and they try to help you and you know pretty much they're always there for you but in for the energy coming in for this month they're a little more like tunnel vision so they don't really have the scope of vision that you would need or that they would need to be a good advisor to you okay in i i guess i'm seeing it more as like interpersonal relationships so um that's something to be careful about and um, I do feel in the past, too, there were quite a bit of disputes or, you know, a, a difference in opinions, understandably, with the fire sign, mainly because it's a different element, and they might communicate differently. Um, but for this month, there might be this residual energy popping back in, where you're kind of, like, dealing with... Um, you're you're kind of there's like a stalled communication or you know you're you're sick of t fighting all the time so you you're just going to you're just going to let things go but um I would advise you to just you know take this month to to really heal up mentally and emotionally you know as well as physically but I do sense that you're you're operating at a good place right now you're at your physical best Maybe towards the end of the month, be just very careful about who it is that you have in your midst and listen to your own intuition, listen to your own inner voice when it comes to other people, okay? Because I do feel like imbalances in the give and take in relationships, all types of interpersonal relationships. Make sure the other people are giving you as much as you're putting in and make sure you yourself are also giving in as much as the other party. So that um, imbalances in relationships are um, felt and it's always like sways towards one side, okay? So it's kind of like if you're in a relationship with someone, it's either one person always gives and one person always takes throughout the entire duration of that relationship. It's never like, you know, certain periods somebody gives and somebody takes. Because takers are always takers, you know, they don't really change and innately they'll take what they can get. So when you offer it um, up your services, when you offer your resources, make sure that, um, you know, if the shoe were on the other foot, they would be willing to work with you and they, they would be ge as generous as you are with your resources, okay? I don't feel that's the case. So you really have to re-examine who it is that you're in the relationship with and why this is like a reoccurring issue and it is coming through twice here so it is a an ongoing theme and it's something to um, you know look into and try to fix up front okay so I hope this makes sense for you um, so thank you so much for watching